Hello and welcome to Weekend Investing Daily Bites. We're shooting episode two seventy two on twenty third of August. And as you probably are aware, we launched a very uh, new strategy yesterday. Uh, MI India Top Ten, uh, one that we believe will be a blockbuster strategy in terms of likability by the audience. Uh, the strategy is based on the Nifty fifty stocks. and the results are remarkably very good to my surprise also uh, given that the top 50 stocks usually have very little alpha that you can derive out of them uh, uh, over researched and you know over bought uh, over owned type of stocks very very liquid of course and uh, the quality is also of no not of any question so this is a strategy that we are extremely extremely uh, hopeful that will become the top weekend investing strategy in times to come and as per the requests of many users last evening we are combining this strategy results with other strategy results to see if the combinations prove to be even better in terms of the risk return uh, ratios so we'll talk about that but first a look at the market today so market opened with a gap down uh but very quickly it came back up almost uh you know into the green territory and then it slipped back again into the red and then the rest of the afternoon was again spent in coming back up so a very uh, sort of a zigzag sort of a move today was the third day of the fall and usually if there are two large fall days and the third one is a gap down uh more more often than not you will find a, a a fight to pull back and that's what happened today but we are not yet sure that you know this will go all the way back up yet or not also the sectors which were outperforming were psu banks and autos that have been taken some uh, correction or you know profit booking in the recent past but today they sprang back up very very nicely very boldly metals were up 1.4% private banking also up 1.13% consumption up 1% IT was the sector which took the beating today minus 1.77% as i have always maintained that IT is sort of mirroring the Nasdaq to a large extent and once we find that Nasdaq gets uh, you know beaten overnight IT stocks also get beaten down here so after the Nasdaq uh, fall last night we saw IT stocks going down FMCG sort of flat real estate also 0.4% up overall a very good day despite you know nifty just managing a half a percent uh, positive on that in terms of the broader indices small caps were up from the very start uh, you know engulfing yesterday's candle and up 1% mid and small cap index also up 1% broader cnx 500 up 0.6% cnx 200 up 0.6% nifty 50 plus 0.5 percent along with nifty next 50 so fitch came out with a uh, warning not i would say not say a warning or a cautious report about a dani group of stocks uh, on the back of which many of the dani stocks did slip uh, sharply in the morning but several of them came back up and recovered most of the ground some of them of course are due for some heavy profit booking after the you know the huge run up that they have seen so every now and again there are warnings there are rumors there are uh, you know f- uh, fingers pointing at the group but it doesn't seem to stop and as momentum players we really don't care about you know how uh, you know judgmental anybody may get about that as long as the trend is there as long as liquidity is there we will definitely ride the trend uh, in terms of the weekend investing small cases a great a good day today uh, M- nnf 10 plus 0.43% the weakest of the lot MI twenty five up two percent, uh, MI fifty up almost two percent, MI ATH also one point eight percent, MI India top ten the new strategy up one point eight percent, MI LTC next two hundred also one point seven percent although we are phasing that out, MI thirty five up one point five percent, MI MT all cap one point five percent most of them are for one point five percent here, so cash is also as you can see except MI MT all cap is mostly near zero, so almost fully invested, and. Uh, it's basically uh, uh you know waiting for up days for markets for strategies to outperform and on the down days maybe they will perform in line or slightly below in line at times in terms of the heat map of the day reliance coming back plus 1.5% along with ongc coal india energy stocks up basically 
in terms of steel and cement stocks also up 2% or uh, or banking as i said bajaj finserve up almost 3% state bank up 2% bajaj finance up 1.5% icici bank up 1.5% fmcg was soft with levers down 1.29% itc almost flat uh, the biggest gains came from the auto sector here so mnm up 3.78% Aisha Motors up 3 percent, uh, Maruti up 1 percent, Tata Motors up 1.29 percent, and some consumption stocks Titan up 2 and a half percent, and some other names of that kind were also up. So good day from that perspective. In terms of the top 500 stocks, top gainers Aptus Value and Kalyan Jewelers up more than 10 percent. Triveni Engineering after a long time came up plus 8 percent. Wellspun Corp up 7 percent. I think we are holding these two in some uh, strategy Borosil Renew also came back up plus six percent in terms of the losers for the day. Deviani International minus five percent, Phoenix Mills also minus five percent, Adani Green after that Fitch report minus four percent, Emphasis and FLA India minus three odd percent. So a very um, heartened heartening to note that you know several hundred folks have already subscribed to the uh, uh, weekend investing top ten strategy since last evening six p.m. So. In less than 24 hours, a lot of folks have come in. We have created a special inaugural uh, code of GET40 that will be valid for this week. So please use that if you would like to. And I'll talk more about this strategy in just a while. Uh, essentially, the strategy is, a, as I mentioned, a 10 stock strategy that rebalances once a month. Very slow, low churn, top quality names, very liquid stocks. And it... Uh, invests in uh, nifty stocks 10 10 best momentum nifty stocks for each month so what we have done is we have we have combined uh, two strategies mi india top 10 and another strategy which we already existing to see if these two combinations will make more sense for the users so if you had only india top 10 you would have had a cagr of 20.7 in the last six and a half years and a max drawdown of 24.2. If you had only NNF10, you would have had CAGR of 20.8 with a max drawdown of 23.5. So these two strategy results are almost very, very similar. But of course, this, the underlying universe is very different. So from that perspective, if you want to cover 0 to 50 and 51 to 100, you must combine these two strategies. But in terms of if you combine them equally, your CAGR still remains 20.7 and max drawdown kind of reduces to 22.3 so mild mild gain in terms of uh, the max drawdown but similar CAGR so ROMAT ratio which measures uh, the returns to max drawdown has improved from 0.86 to 0.93 or 0.88 to 0.93 whichever way you might want to see it so a good uh, uh, addition if you're holding NNF 10 you can add uh, uh, MI uh, India top 10 if you're holding MI evergreen which is a strategy on CNX 200 stocks along with the hedge of 25% gold. You had a CAGR of 19.8 and a max drawdown of 18.9. Now if you add uh, India top 10 at 20.7 and 24.2 max drawdown, you will come to 20.3 CAGR and 21.4 max drawdown. So your drawdown has gone up and your returns have improved a bit. So for evergreen users going from 1.05 ROMAT to 0.95 is is not a, uh, a incremental improvement it is slight deterioration so but if for diversification purposes if you wish to diversify you can still do that in terms of uh, adding uh, india top 10 to mi20 so mi20 is mid and small cap 400 index so totally different subset uh, you know top 50 versus uh, mid and small 400 which starts from uh, 100 and uh, 105, uh, uh, from 100 to 500th rank. Uh, so you were at uh, a ROMAD ratio of 0.65 on MI20 and by combining uh, top 10 you would come to a ROMAD ratio of 0.82 while the CAGR reduces from 24.8 to 22.7 the max drawdown improves dramatically from 37.9 to 27.6. So it is also beneficial that if you are holding to MI20 you can add to MI20 India top 10. Now this one is the best one I suppose uh, MI25 uh, of course MI25 has a fantastic uh, uh, CAGR at 33.3% over the last six years 
Uh, also, max drawdown at 28.9 percent, having a ROMAD ratio of 1.15. So, if you add top 10 to that equally, you come to a CAGR of 28.2, still very respectable, and a drawdown dramatically improvement from 28 percent to 22 percent, ROMAD ratio at 1.28. So, MI25 holders also can improve a lot going from just MI25 to MI25 plus India top 10. MI35 uh, small cap users uh, can go from ROMAD ratio of 0 0.83 to 0 0.96. Uh, the CAGR uh, has, uh, um, uh, has, has not improved. It has gone down from 27.2 to 23.7 on this combination. But the max drawdown also will improve from 32.6 to 24.6. So ROMAD ratio is better, but CAGR is a bit down. For all cap users, uh, already sitting at ROMAD ratio of 1.24, which is extremely good, 35% CAGR, 28% max drawdown. By combining with top 10, your ROMAD ratio goes down to 1.17, your CAGR goes down to 30, and a slight improvement is in max drawdown. So for all cap users, maybe, you know, this may, be, may not be the best combination. For ATH users, uh, going from 40% CAGR in the last six years, uh, ROMAD ratio already 1.28, but uh, when you combine it with top 10, it goes to 1.45. I think this is the best combination so far that ATH users, if they add on to AT, uh, to India top 10, you go from ROMAD ratio of 1.28 to 1.45, your drawdown max goes down from 31.5 to 22.9, a dramatic improvement. And CAGR somewhat reduces from 40 to 33 percent, still a, a remarkable, enviable combination of figures. With ATH2, uh, ROMAD ratio again improves from 1.18 to 1.26. When you combine it with top 10, uh, the long-term CAGR dramatically reduces and the max drawdown also dramatically reduces. So this is somewhat a uh, not so, uh, I would say, welcome move to have a dramatic dr drop in CAGR, but the ROMAD ratio still looks very, very robust. So these are the combinations of various uh, existing weekend investing strategies to do with uh, top 10 stocks uh, if you get uh, if you use the code get 40 for this week you can get a uh, you know very nice offer on that so with this i also in the last point i wanted to make was that you must approach any new strategy with a 3 to 5 year view you must bring in your capital very very gradually and not come in with a lump sum at any point of time unless you are planning to do many lump sums over a period of a year or two, uh, you will note that once you come in with a SIP, regardless of where you have started from, you in 3-4 years, you may be up like maybe 20 to 40 percent in most of the 3-4 year periods that we have seen. And as such, that journey will become very smooth after that. You know, once you have come to some buffer level from where you will not see red again in your portfolio, maybe in your lifetime also. So, Coming to that point uh, creates a huge behavioral change in our approach towards the market. So we must first, uh, you know, do everything to reach that point. And then, of course, we can scale it up uh, very, very uh, quickly after that. And uh, it just requires patience and non-interference. I mean, if you have a bad year, any strategy can have a bad year, a year or two maybe. Don't give up on the strategy just like that or don't give up on the style of your investing or don't give up on, you know, uh, a particular manager, if you will. Uh, there is a cyclicality to everything. The best of managers go through a cycle. The best of funds, mutual funds also go through a cycle. The best of small cases will also go through a cycle. The best of stocks also do that. So you have to endure through that cycle and make sure that you keep doing what you had set out to do. And you will notice that money almost will get made on autopilot once some uh, initial hurdles are crossed. So just, you know, just keep practicing not to interfere, not to become the controller, just let it flow like water, whichever path your strategy is going, just go by your rules and let your portfolio grow as per the strategy. That is all that is required of you uh, to, you know, help your portfolio grow to great lengths. So thank you so much for watching this. And once again, deepest gratitude for such an overwhelming response to our new strategy. We are almost always nervous whenever we launch a new strategy, whether people will like it or not. 
but uh, since last 24 hours it has been a very pleasant surprise and uh, overwhelming response that you've given us thank you so much we hope to you know fulfill all the promises and obligations that uh, we must do as a as a as a research company on these uh, uh, products please do share this with any of your friends or family if they have not started their uh, investment journeys this product is a beautiful product and it will be a great way to start anybody's investment journey if they have not started this is a very very simple product and uh, uh, rest of the week i'll show you in daily bites how this product can really beat the nifty and how it takes care of the you know the negative uh, stocks which may we may have to endure for a long time while we are holding index uh, funds or index etfs etc so with that note uh, thank you so much for watching this and uh, goodbye